And I was like, I don't think I want to do CS anymore, but like, I can't do anything else anymore. Like, what do I do? Today, we're doing a video about being a woman in tech. So it's just a really like a more casual decrypted bias video. So we're just gonna like throw out some questions, answer them, have conversations, and hopefully it's interesting. I'm Afechi, I'm a junior at Brown studying applied math and computer science. Hi, I'm Eliana. I'm a senior at Columbia University studying computer science. Hi, I'm Banishree. I'm a senior at Brown where I study computer science and cognitive science. And I'm Lauren, I studied computer science at UC Berkeley. I definitely chose CS, um, but there are definitely like, I think several instances where one thing led to another. So like I, I joined like a mentorship program having to do with CS. So I originally was a biomedical engineering major. And like when people asked me how sure I was, I was like 99.9, .9, like we love biology and engineering and stuff. I think I chose it. And the reason why I say this is because I sort of decided to do the mentorship program. And then from there, I sort of saw that there were like a lot of jobs in that. And I had a lot of conversations with like my biomedical engineering older friends. And for me, that practicality was like really important. Like I um, come from like a pretty like low income, like first gen background. So I think for me, like knowing that I would have a job after graduation was very important initially. Um, and then I slowly grew to like love it. I chose CS. Like I originally applied to like all my colleges as like a business or econ major because I was like gung ho about Wall Street. And then sort of like <laughs> the initial sort of thing about CS was like similarly like sort of the jobs and specifically internship opportunities um, mm -hmm. because there were weird things with my like financial aid application when I was first applying. So Brown was very, very expensive. I mean, it still is, <laughs> but it was like very far out of reach and like a lot of um people like in econ who are doing like investment banking um internships typically like you get your internship junior year i mean there's definitely like cases where it happens sophomore year but i was like trying to figure out like how could i like get enough money to like pay for college and like computer science was a way because like it's more common to like have an internship sophomore year so that was kind of like my first interest in it and I started and at first it was really hard and I was like, I don't know if I can do this. But then slowly I got like better and better and really, really liked it. Like it's a very rewarding subject. Like the lows are low. <laughs> like when you have this bug and the due date's coming, but like when you get that all test passed or like you like hit a breakthrough, like it's really, really awesome. And there's so much to learn. I chose CS because when I was in high school, I felt like lots of people were exploring it already and had this skill set. And I always felt a little bit behind if I wanted to learn them. Mm -hmm. So at Brown, when they had this introductory class, I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to like start with a fresh group of people who are also, you know, building this skill set for the for the first time. And I took that first class and it was fun. I thought I did decently well, um, but I really struggled with the complimentary class that came next semester. And I was just like, you know what, maybe I can find something else that is um, better for me. But like a year later, I found myself choosing classes again, and it just felt like there's this incomplete journey in a way or incomplete learning. Um, so I went back, I finished that class, and um, that was even more fun than the first one. I just feel like since then, I've gone to see like how diverse CS is and how you can apply it to lots of different fields. So even if it isn't my like number one passion, the skills that I have developed from there can translate to like any other field. It felt like kind of a mix of both because I grew up in like the Bay Area in California. So there's like a lot of tech companies moving in and stuff. So I feel like th that way it chose me because like I was like surrounded by it and I was like feel pretty lucky to like take a class at my high school and it was taught by a really nice teacher. And I feel like that's when I chose it. I was like, okay, CS, this is fun. I'm like more excited about it than my other classes. And I think that's when for me, I was like, I'm gonna apply to colleges in this major. So for CS33, so this is computer systems, I had like finished this like product that take me a really long time. But like, for some reason, like I was like copy pasting over things because I needed to like fix up my file structure. And I'm like, I wasn't super comfortable with um, the command line. So I was manually copying over. Turns out I like didn't copy half the project. And I was like, I don't know if I've like ever had a panic attack, but this was it. <laughs> if I ever had one, like I was like, 
shaking and like freaking out my friend was trying to like like ask me questions like oh I, how can I help you and I was just like shaking her off like no no and I like instantly like, I'm running up the stairs of the sun lab which is our like sort of like computer room area and I'm like running to the person this sun lab person who can help you out with like different technical issues and I'm like stuttering I'm like I just laid on my my project I need help <laughs> um she was like able to like recover it because they take snapshots of people's code and I remember I kept on like I was like oh my gosh you're such a queen you're such an angel thank you thank you so much <laughs> I was like worshiping this girl one thing that happens to me often is when I start a new project I get really stressed out by like the new um, environment, whatever like stencil code or framework that I'm trying to work within, like all of these new tools, um, like trying to make sense of it that I can't even focus on the project itself and map it out. Recently, I, I felt this way when I was trying to build this little task with the, like a framework that my project mentor wanted me to build it within. And I couldn't even think about like starting from the most basic unit and building up because I was just so stressed. I wasn't going to be able to get it done and not going to be able to understand this framework at all. Um, so I think that took a lot of practice to be able to be like work through those feelings and be able to be productive through those feelings and tell myself that um, you know, it'll all be okay and I'll figure it out in the end. It's a very different process than like having to write an essay for me where it's like, I know that I'll be able to write this essay and I've done this so many times before and like um, there's a clear roadmap for this. It's like so much more abstract and there are, there's like no answer key, there are no guidelines, which can make it a very stressful pro process. Sometimes like when I get those feelings of like stress, I feel like I'll try to utilize the resources available to me, like say like go to office hours or like speak to the staff and I'll still leave them feeling like so lost and confused. And that can be really difficult for me. And then I feel like I have to take those deep breaths and be like, okay, I can do this. I just have to take it like one step at a time and really like rely on myself, but it can be really hard. I remember like my sophomore year, I'm like halfway through the right like the prerequisites to finish the CS major and I was taking the systems class um, which at Columbia is like notorious for being very difficult um, and I remember going to like my CS advisor and just being like I hate this class like I hate everything about CS I was freaking out I was like halfway through my major um, and I was like, I don't think I want to do CS anymore, but like, I can't do anything else anymore. Like, what do I do? Um, and I think he was really good about like sitting me down and be like, okay, like, let's take a step back. Like, what don't you like about it? Um, and I was like, well, I don't, I hate this class. And he was like, well, like, there's a lot of things that are CS, right? Like there's like product management that you can go into. There's like front end, back end. Um, maybe this just means that you don't like like one aspect of CS. And so I think, that moment was like very essential for me because I think there's like this like perception of like CS is like one thing and like you have to like everything about it when it really like CS is so broad like there's so many things you can do with the CS degree. For me at least I would say my experience has been pretty like pretty good. I've like had like great like people around me like all the time which I don't know if that's the case for everyone but it's been like really good I would say I've had like no differences in my experience than someone else who's maybe not a woman or a person of color and so I've never experienced any microaggressions or uncomfortable situations like in fact it's probably been like the opposite like my manager this summer was like really adamant on getting like more women more women of color into the workplace like supporting me in any way I could he was like I don't even care if you return I mean he's like obviously I would like you to return but like if you don't like I want to make sure you're succeeding wherever you are so I think like being supported and encouraged it's always great to like have that group of people or a person so it could be your manager your like Ileana you mentioned your like concentration advisor or major advisor um also people in clubs who are like going through the same thing as you and since they're like more your age and like hype you up <laughs> and like also just like help you out it was like my freshman year and I there was you know freshman year everyone's trying to get an internship um it's like really hard to do that freshman year type of thing and Several of my floor mates and I like applied to the same program together. Many of them had like CS experience from like their high school. Um, I was like taking my first like intro class that semester and stuff. Um, so I got an interview when like not a lot of people got interviews on my floor. Um, and someone was like, she only got it because she's poor and like Latina, which is like, 
yikes, right? Although there's like few, right? There's always gonna be some people like doubting why you're in the room and maybe like doubting your experiences. I think how I proceeded with that situation was that like there, there was like a conversation that like started in my floor about like, why are people like saying this? Like trying to like understand like each other. People will tell me, oh, you only got into UC Berkeley because like you're a girl or like, you're so lucky to be a woman because there's like so many opportunities for you and I'm a man, like it's so hard for me and it's like can feel so invalidating. And I actually like don't feel like I've ever had the energy to like bring that up to people or have a conversation. But I think I over time I have taken time to like develop that internal like more confidence and like believing in myself. So like hopefully I'll have more conversations with people. It's definitely daunting. I definitely think like having conversations will like, I mean, it can be hard, but I think it's like sort of the right approach to like understand the other person and then definitely internal confidence, which kind of like bounces off with like imposter syndrome, but like trying to overcome that is like huge for like almost like anyone in tech and like anyone doing anything hard. Being like internally, um, like confident or I guess like internally like believing in yourself that like you're here for a reason you're here because like you deserve this is important I think it's something that has really stuck with me and has like really shaped how I treat like my mentees and how much I like advocate for like other women um and how much like I cheer on other people because I know that like these sort of situations happen and like it like sucks if you don't want to like explain any or like have the conversation i think that's also okay though um i have <laughs> um but i think it was um i think it's like not an easy major um i think it has like its challenges um classes are hard you get a bug that you can't figure out and you're like this is gonna end my career whatever um and it's like i don't know i think looking back for me, it was like never that deep. Like the, the doubts that I had were more like internal doubts that I had in myself rather than like an actual like thing that I had against CS or that I couldn't do CS. I definitely have, I feel like CS, especially being a CS student, those classes dominate your life and your learning and your thinking. And like the one semester, in which I was taking um, mostly non-CS classes related to cognitive science and neuroscience, and I had the time to devote to that. Um, you know, I found myself developing a new passion that I didn't know existed. Um, and I think we're all so young and like we have so many of those passions that we like still need to find out. Um, and it felt really good at, to, to take that break. And I realized, you know, when I take breaks from CS, I find different, I can, a lot that time to different things and perhaps grow in different ways. So right now I'm, I'm thinking, you know, what can I do um, that's not necessarily software engineering or working in tech? Uh, how can I do something else? Um, but the nice thing about CS is that you develop these problem solving skills that again apply to wherever you want to go. So I'm pretty grateful for that. For me, leaving CS was like really just at the beginning, like getting into like something new and thinking like, maybe I don't like this. Um, I haven't really thought about it afterwards because I've like really, really enjoyed my courses. But I think it was definitely at the beginning, like getting over the initial learning curve. Like that was rough. I definitely have thought about leaving. So sometimes I still do because I know that like working as a software engineer is going to like present so many other challenges that I haven't experienced yet. Um, but the great point is that CS is very practical. I can bring it anywhere. I can even like pursue it on my own if I ever have to like take a step back. Um, but I'm glad I've stuck with it and I see a lot of hope for me and opportunity. Yeah. I would say take an intro CS class and don't take a really hard intro CS class. I mean, this is just general advice for anyone. Um, 
Take one where you feel like you're succeeding and building something and it's slowly building up at you know whatever pace you're comfortable with because I think that confidence is really important to be able to like progress and it's really easy to have that confidence be shot if you get in over your head and take a class that might just be too hard um and again I don't mean that to be just advice for women that's advice for anyone who's interested in tech um you know take it slow and start start at your own pace if I were to take an intro class I would want to like evaluate my experience on whether I was like excited about what I was learning and like whether I was interested in going further or not really about whether I was like successful or not in terms of like grades um because I feel like that can get into my head a little I think like asking women who are currently in CS so like for me figuring out um which intro course to take um my sort of like tour guide and my revisit day at Brown, like she said, she was computer science. So I like randomly texted her over the summer. I was like, do you remember me? I was like this one person in this like little group. And I asked her so, so many questions about CS and it definitely got me more comfortable with at least trying it out. And she also helped me figure out which intro course to take based on sort of my level and my comfort for like a mentorship program. I think like mentorship programs where you can find like female mentors, or, like mentors, like you feel comfortable with is like just another great thing because you could also see perspectives from like people in college as well as like people in the industry um who could also talk about like the practical part or like the jobs part i definitely say um also try to look for like a mentor um and not only that but also like opportunities um outside of the classroom so like i feel like every school has like some sort of like cs club or has like CS related activities happening like outside. Um, so I would say like definitely try to like join like some sort of CS mentorship. Um, another way that I think I got like thrown into it was going to a hackathon. So I know like everything right now is online. So that's being physically there is probably not possible, but I think it's like a great way to sort of um, see what it's about and like hear cool projects that like people are working on as well like companies who are like interested in like CS majors and stuff. I don't know. I think it's like a great way to meet people and just sort of do something that you don't really know what is happening, but like I'm sure you will find like good teammates that help you out through it. For me personally, like with hackathons, I've always like gotten the swag but like never I always had assignments to do that prioritize I definitely want to do one like more in depth but like even people who like aren't involved with CS at all like I've had like econ major friends like do it and they're like it was so cool like doing the design and now like maybe I like want to take a CS course or maybe like I don't but it's just like it was really interesting like working on like something technical even though they're maybe not like directly coding and it was just like a really fun experience with a team I don't think I've ever like finished a project successfully at any hackathon. Like I always go there, I go for the swag. Um, but I think it's like a good place to meet people that are also interested in tech. Um, so I know there, like I met a lot of my close friends now. And um, even like if the project is, doesn't happen, which I feel like it's most of the time, um, it's like a good way to sort of get into that space. I yeah. think those projects are really important and like um, I would caution or say make sure that you're you have a role where you're actively contributing because it can be like really frustrating to be working on a technical project and people with more experience kind of taking the lead and doing the things that you could be learning from. So like finding good friends to those clubs that you guys mentioned, finding a good team that will like make those opportunities available for you. And even if you feel like, you know, you're uh, less experienced, you have the space to try new stuff out and build those skills um, and balancing that with independent work as well. So you can also grow through that. Then that was the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the sort of conversation about being a woman in tech, got some good advice or some good tips. Um, please like this video and subscribe to Decrypted by Us. And thank you again for watching. <laughs>